All right, it's December 12th, and I'm out planting apples. This is Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Garden, and up next is a yellow Newton Pippin. All right, this is the hole where this tree is going. This tree is a yellow Newton Pippin, uh, also known as an Albemarle Pippin, grafted onto Antonovka. I did this myself. I got the root stock uh, back in February or March from uh, Burt Ridge Nursery out on the West Coast. And I did the actual graft on April 24th, of, sorry, yeah, April 24th of this year. So if you're not familiar with uh, how apple grafting works, you have to graft a named variety like Fuji or Honeycrisp or Gala or something that you like. You have to graft it onto a root stock in order to propagate that tree. Apples don't come true from seed. Uh, well, a few of them do, but the vast majority of them do not. So if you plant a bunch of golden delicious seeds, you're not going to get golden delicious apples. So um, what I used for rootstock here is Antonovka, which actually does produce a good apple on its own. But um, I use it here for its uh, hardiness and deep taproot. So everything up to here is Antonovka. Right here where you can see I started to do my work. That's where I grafted. Uh, I grafted this stick right here from my thumb to my finger. That's the piece that someone sent me. I can't remember who exactly. I'm sure it was a friend from NAFEX, the North American Fruit Explorers. they a uh, great group to be part of. If you're not already, find them on Facebook. You don't have to be a member to uh, participate in their forum, but uh, they're, they're doing a lot of really great work. But anyhow, so that was the stick that I got. And from here up is what grew. You know, it's about a, a foot or so of growth that came up over... Uh, the season between uh, April and January time, sorry, December the time now. So I'm going to put this in this hole right here. I know that it looks a little crowded. There's a muscadine grape there. There's a, a thornless honey locust right there. I know that seems kind of crazy, but I do a lot of experimental stuff here in my orchard. In fact, I think when I dug this hole, I nicked. I think that's part of the grape um, root system right there. But anyhow, uh, c'est la vie. Uh, I'm kind of conflicted about putting in this uh, this tree and uh, even though this is a one of the oldest varieties yellow Newton Pippin one of the oldest varieties of apples in America uh, It was well known in the 18th century it originated excuse me originated somewhere in Long Island and um, So it's great. It produces a really nice late yellow apple. It was Thomas Jefferson's favorite along with uh, Isopus Spitzenberg and um, but unfortunately, like Mr. Jefferson, uh, I'm here in Virginia and you never know uh, how well it's going to do. In fact, they didn't perform great for uh, Thomas Jefferson. And uh, I know there's a great young lady, an orchardist up uh, in northern Virginia near Maryland named Eliza Greenberg. She has a fantastic uh, website called uh, Eliza's Apples or maybe Eat Ugly Apples, but she's just brilliant. But she talks about there's so many other things to plant beyond this tree. But this is the uh, scion wood that I had. This is the tree that I've got. So this is what I'm going to work with. And uh, even though it's going into this uh, unique spot, if it doesn't work out, no problem. I'll just cut it right off below the scion and graft what I want. And some of the problems with it is it's very susceptible to fire blight and cedar apple rust, two of the biggest um, diseases or um, problems, health issues that apples in this region have. So uh, let me go ahead and get it in the hole and then I'll talk to you a little bit about these other plants that are around it and uh, how that may or may not work out. All right, my Albemarle Pippin or Yellow Newton Pippin is in the ground. I. Uh, Add a little uh, cornmeal to the top, uh, as per Howard Garden. Excuse me, Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor. Great radio show, great website, um, and a little bit of mix of red and white medium clover, which I try to add everywhere I can. The only other thing I'm going to do here next is, sorry, I just record with one hand, cut with the other. Take off these side branches because this is Antonovka. That's my rootstock. I don't want that. I want this. And this tree is in a, a special place. Um, I've got this grapevine here next to it. I've got this thornless honey locust here. This has been neglected, um, and I was going to throw it away. Um, but it still lived, so I went ahead and planted it. So we'll see what it does there. Uh, Stefan Sobkoviak uh, and other folks who are into permaculture use uh, honey locust and other nitrogen-fixing plants like black locust to... Uh, help uh, other trees grow uh, as a companion plant um, to kind of help manure the soil. Um, so that's why that is there. 
it's never going to be terribly happy um, the way I'm going to treat it, the way I have treated it, but uh, I need it there as a workhorse. Uh, this is uh, a great muscadine vine. It's a Darlene, which is a fantastic variety of, pretty sure they're bronze, but um, this is, it's going on its second year here. It's getting bigger. Um, and eventually I may train it uh, up part of the trunk because this won't stay eventually. Uh, some folks integrate uh, grapes into their um, tree program. Then again, it could be a terrible idea. I honestly don't know. What I do know is that this uh, part of the porch here is not permanent. This is not going to stay. So all of this is coming out eventually. So uh, big changes could be happening here uh, someday. But for now, this is the arrangement. And uh, like I said, if this tree winds up being not very healthy at all and needs to be replaced, not a problem. I will do just that. I'll cut it there at the rootstock. I'll graft uh, something else onto it, a late season variety, because here in the uh, side orchard we're in the November period, so there's the yellow Newton Pippin, there's the uh, Gold Rush, and others come through Glockenopfel, which I got a plant coming up next, and others, but um, anyhow, that's that. <laughs>